Hey guys, quick disclaimer at the top of this video, I really hate having to do this, but after Ryan and I's last play session, I realized I'd just been recording a black screen for an entire hour. But luckily Ryan is an awesome dude, and he started a new playthrough of Dark Souls, played through all the way back to where he and I were during that playthrough, and recorded new footage to match our original audio. So if I do my job correctly and hide those edits, you guys shouldn't even notice. So for the next three or four episodes you might notice a little choppy bit here or there where it looks like something is skipped and that's just me trying to cover up my fuck up. But please thank Ryan in the comments, give him a little praise because he really deserves it. Uh, I'm so sorry for making him go through all that. I won't make that mistake again, I promise, I promise. Hey, welcome back everyone. I, uh, truth be told, <laughs> we actually haven't played this in months, yeah. like so, so long, because the channel was down for a while. So I don't have a, the slightest clue where we are in the game. I don't really remember. So we're in An Orlando. We're coming up to the... Actually, you probably saw me die a few times in the last episode. Maybe. I can't remember at the most frustrating part of the game. I remember that. I remember that we like, it was almost like a preemptive rage quit of, because we decided to go do something else because we were at supposedly like the hardest part of the game. Yeah. And I decided that I wanted to wear the sack on my head today. Because <laughs> I want to be beautiful. I think, I honestly think there was a joke in like episode two about our gross bowl cut where we were like, ugh, you definitely, you definitely put a sack on that head. <laughs> Yeah, it's not very that's, nice. That's not the that's not the kind of face that you're leaving open and exposed to the world, you know. Oi, right. guide <laughs> guide me through where you're where you're headed here. So, I am headed towards that cathedral that you can see in the distance. Once this elevator ever decides to come back up. Oh, I see. And yeah, this is a nice, sunny, happy place. It is kind of sunny. Does this this game doesn't go through day and night, right? Just certain areas are no. dark and light. But there's something I can do a bit later where I could make this place night. Oh, really? Yeah. So, like, even though the game doesn't have a day and night function, they still had to, like, draw and render day and night versions of everything just for the sake of this one thing that you can do? Yeah, if, if I kill a certain NPC, then it'll turn to night. The entire game for good? Oh, no, just this area. Oh, okay. This I area was like, for good. I was like, that is one of those minor details where, like, they obviously put so much effort into it and so little people are ever going to appreciate it yeah <laughs> or like even see it whether or not they appreciate it just like yeah i mean this and this npc is probably one that nobody would really I even think of killing i think i remember running around in across these bridges and stuff and there's like these lanky bug men yeah. who fuck you up real good stupid jerky gargoyles yeah yeah skinny gargoyles yeah, Not that guy. These guys. <laughs> these guys. These ones. These are the ones I'm thinking of. They're little lightning bolts. Oh, really, yeah. Really ruin your day. Yeah, what are you doing? I thought you said you were brushing up. You were making sure that you were uh, well trained. Oh. As my grandpa would say that, that's pulling a boner. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does your grandpa actually say that? No, but I've heard old people say that before. That's funny. <laughs> I've heard the Joker say it in like a really old like '50s Batman comic. <laughs> oh no, Batman! You hey, pulled a boner. That's where we died. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> that's where we died. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well, that, that oh, was really bad. Deja vu. Yeah, I didn't even get shot that time. I just kind of fell. <laughs> <laughs> that we're assuming that's what happened last time, right? Oh, I would have got. I probably would have got shot by that guy. Yeah, those bow and arrow bastards. Yeah, it's it's not a fun part. You die a lot. Have you ever Have you ever thought about like, uh, in medieval times when I don't really know how this was structured in these societies or whatever, but when you're like, you know, we'll use Sparta as an example because it's like, highly filmed or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> There's, like, people are familiar with that, right? And so, like, in these medieval times, when they're training these warriors, they're like, okay, we're going to need you to learn from a very young age how to swing a sword, how to use an axe, how to, like, look after your armor and everything, and you're going to train all day every day, and you're going to beat the shit out of each other 
of your like friends and brothers and stuff with these hefty swords so you can get really good at it so yeah. someday when you eventually go to war you can get stabbed within the first two minutes because you were in the front of the line and you're just boned <laughs> and so it's a good thing you spent 30 years of your life practicing that and they're like wow that sounds that sounds fucking terrible that sounds <laughs> that sounds like so much work I really don't want to do that and they're like oh well we also have this uh, other option there's uh, this thing that's called a bow and these weapons called arrows and you just pull them, and you never have to move. You just stand there, and you shoot them a long distance, and you're nowhere near the fight. And, and uh, yeah, that's that's option B. Option A is the, the sword and hand-to-hand combat. And I bet you everyone was like, are you fucking kidding me? Option option B. Give me that bow. <laughs> Give me a bow. <laughs> who are these people who are like, put me in the front of the lines. I got this. I, I bet you I'll be really good at this. I would, I would most definitely be an archer. There's no doubt in my mind that give, if I was given the option, I assume these people weren't, <laughs> but I would be, I'd be shooting a bow and arrow. I guess that's kind of like when you think about snipers in the military today. I'm, I think they have to go through like some of the most intense training, and they're all like Navy SEALs and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like really hard to get into sniper school. I've heard, but that's what I've heard from like Reddit. So. Now what I want. To oh, this guy's—he's an—he's a archer and a swordsman. Okay, I'll probably die here. <laughs> what were you trying to do? I was trying. You can. Oh, he did it! Wait, did he just fucking fall <laughs> off yes, the edge? He did. That's like the whole strategy <laughs> for killing him. I, you need to wait for him to kill himself. I love that he like successfully staved you off from invading his castle. And then he was just like, ah, look at him, Ryan, he's fucking, I got him good. And then he goes <laughs> to, like, retake his position, and he just fucking slips off that edge. And yeah. Now, now I have the bonfire, and I never have to go through that place again. What's Solar doing here? Just chilling. Okay, wait, so that was the, that was the part that you hate in this game? That That's just... the part that I hate. But oh, okay. now the boss is coming up, I hate them equally as much. Oh, it's them, it's another double boss? It double is... trouble? Yeah, this is, like, the real double boss. Oh, the gargoyle double boss is kind of like an appetizer for how oh, big double bosses. That's kind of cool. They like introduce you to the fact that like sometimes you're gonna get gang banged rather than like one on one. Yeah. And but you you were also able to like summon someone to help you in that gargoyle fight, which made it pretty easy. Yeah. Is that not an option this time around? I can summon a one guy, but he's kind of I think it's Solaire. It might be Solaire again. But he's kind of a piece of poop this time. Oh. He does, because, like, he doesn't level up with you. Yeah. Yeah, he's, like, slacking. Yeah. He's just sitting there, keeping warm by that fire. Yep. Roasting, roasting wieners, and... Yeah, and now I'm going to a secret room. How the fuck could you possibly ever have found that? You don't need to go here, right? Because, like... No. Because that's the kind of garbage that if that was, like, a necessary thing in the game, then, like, fuck that. No one... That was dumb luck. (laughs) Give me your treasure. (laughs) Oh, he's got the longest legs ever. Where was he stashing those? Just I don't know. somewhere in that chest, I guess. But there was all that. His tongue was all folded up in there. I don't know if there's room for those tall, lanky legs as well. And his his fucked up, bent up elbows. Yeah, he's a special boy. <laughs> those are <laughs> bent the wrong way. Now I like to get that item for later on in the game. You always you always get the club. I normally get the club. It oh no no no! But I mean like whether or not you do it, that guy always drops oh, yeah. the club. Oh yeah. Yeah, the mimic chests they always have the same loot. Okay. And every chest in the game actually has the same loot every time you go. Oh. There's a dragon tooth. We fought Havel earlier and got that from him. We're actually gonna get all his armor here, which Havel. He's the guy who gave me that cool ring that boosts my equip load a bunch. Wait, didn't you not kill him? Didn't you rescue him and then you kicked him off an edge? No, that was Lucarn. Oh, but you stole his ring, didn't you? Yeah, I stole his ring. <laughs> 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 I kill people for rings. This one's Havel's <laughs> ring. Yeah, he really brutalized this people. Lucarn. He's a fap. Favor and protection. <laughs> That's what, is that what everyone calls it? The yeah. Fap ring? Yeah. Uh, commonly known as fap. <laughs> <laughs> Always gotta have your fap. Now this is one of the kind of few uh, skips I'll do in the game. Oh. So I want to get there, but I and normally you have to walk up this staircase and go through a whole bunch of enemies. Oh, so you're gonna rainbow road that shit? Yeah. 
It'll take me a few tries. <laughs> You're just gonna get the the timing and the line of this just perfect, and then you you either you either perfectly skip a huge chunk of the race, or you fling yourself off the edge and you come dead last. But is there points in the game that like everyone just fucking skips as, if they know how? Because um, there's I'm like sure. there's nothing much to gain from going up those stairs and fighting those guys. Uh, yeah, there's not much point to it really, hmm. as far as I'm concerned. And there might be a few crafting materials or something, but it's nothing that I really need. And yeah, so the fog gate at the end of that hallway is the boss room. Oh. Yeah, and down here there's a cool guy. A guy, uh, a bro? Or yeah, uh, a real sweetheart. I really like this guy. Did, is he gonna is he gonna give you a high five and a, a smooch on the lips, or is he gonna oh, is he gonna impale you on a me, giant sword? Maybe this time he'll give me a kiss, but no, he's he's just the holy giant shit with the very tiny hammer, hammering on a very small sword. I mean, it's really a giant hammer, but like, let's see what he's got to say. What's he up to? I'm just hammering. Are you for your weapons? He's not very talkative. Let's see. <laughs> that must be so easy for him. If, like, a regular real person was... Oh, you can up upgrade your halberd. Your yeah. Favorite thing to do. What are you spending right now? What is your, like, resource? Um, large shards. shards. I remember when you got some of those before. And I think you I explained could, to me. I, I can could. use it to upgrade my halberd. <laughs> it is... Yeah. I wish I would, wasn't having to use my halberd, but... You know. Oh, because there was an item you would have rather had at this point? I'd rather have the Black Knight halberd. Ooh. Which is really just the bee's knees. Are you just showing off how sweet your weapon is now? Um, I want to kill these guys. Oh. This, is two down here more specifically. To get that. Oh. Wait, are these the exact ones you ran past earlier? This is a different area, right? This is a different area. Okay, yeah. <laughs> these are really just, these really jumpy critters. Yeah, kind of dumb. Oh, a chunk. chunk! It's like the next stage crafting material. Oh, you don't you don't break it down into eight shards or something? Uh, you can, I think, but I don't do that. Shards are easy enough to get. Now I want to go this way. I'll go back the way I came. Um, it's gonna be a little bit of a walk because okay. I want to go back to that bonfire I was sitting at, because whenever I go to that one, I get ten uh, healing items. Oh, did than you five. did you kindle it or whatever it? It, it comes it's called. kindled. Oh, yeah, it's one I'm, of the cool ones. I'm learning things about this game. I know about kindling and shards, and uh, killing people for their jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, the really important stuff. <laughs> yeah, only only the pro, <laughs> the pro best tips. pro tips. Pro tips from someone who takes like. Ten times as long to beat the game as someone who's very good. Uh, fuck them. They're just showing off. They are. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll 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 just go do that then. So next time, uh, Ryan's gonna we'll come back in that room, hanging out with Solaire. Uh, or not Solaire. So not that one. Not going back to that one. No, this is the one I was at before. Oh. oh. Okay. Well, anyways, if we're just if we gotta walk through a bunch of stuff we've already been through before. Yeah. Yeah. So next time we'll pick up we'll pick up from that point. So. We'll see you guys then.